माई कॉमेट के ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एस्पिरेंट्स ओनली फोर डेज आर लेफ्ट फॉर योर कॉमेट के एग्जामिनेशन एंड मेनी ऑफ यू हैव माइट हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न द मॉक टेस्ट और माइट नॉट हैव रिटर्न एंड विल बी राइटिंग इन द नेक्स्ट फोर डेज सो देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन दैट यू आर राइटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मॉक टेस्ट बट देर इज नो इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द मार्क्स सो आई हैव ब्रॉट अ सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस वन आई बी टेलिंग यू एग्जैक्टली हाउ यू शुड बी improving your marks in the mock test what you should be doing so that your mark uh, marks in the mock test will improve okay the main purpose of writing mock test is to improve your marks if you do not if you are not achieving that target then there is point no point of writing this mock test right so please watch this complete video and follow what i'm saying so that next 4 to 5 mock tests whatever you are writing that will improve your scores and boost your confidence so let's see first of all mock uh first thing we'll be ta talking about what are mocks wh what is the use of mock then how you can shift your mindset best time to take the mock uh, then how what to do after each mock focus on the strengthening what you should be focusing and how to manage your mind and not just time so the first one here is see mocks are tools not prediction so if you are getting less marks in the mocks that doesn't mean that you will get less marks in the exam Okay, it is not like that. Mocks are a tool for improvement. Please understand. Do not get afraid of writing mocks. You just need to know that mocks are something which will help you to improve. Those students who are really serious about your preparation, they should think mock. It is a tool which I use. Then my marks will improve. Okay, so that is why you should know that. it is just used as a diagnosis it will tell you that what all problems are there what all things can be changed so that in exam our marks will increase right so it is not at all to demotivate you many students many people say that don't write mocks before exam that will demotivate you why to get demotivated when you see okay if you see if you just go to the doctor for anal for your checkup and you find that okay these these problems are there in your the body so it is better to diagnose that and to take treatment for that right and afterwards if you don't check it and that disease may grow for, uh, like to a that position where we cannot control it right so that is the thing when you write mock you analyze the problem and then you can solve it before your exams right next it depends on how you respond now that matters okay when you see the mock when you attempt the mock when you get the results of the mock how you respond to that whether you take it as a negative feedback or whether you think it as an opportunity to learn that is something which will decide how the mocks will help you okay so that is why your mindset should change from panic to purpose you need to understand when the mock marks are getting less you should not get panic you should understand okay i have written this mock test the purpose was to know the uh, problems know the pro questions where i am facing the difficulty okay these are the questions i have got uh, got wrong let me revise this concepts and let me do one more mock that should be your mindset getting so you do not think that i cannot do it okay my mocks marks are not increasing so i'll never be able to do perform well in the exam don't think like that you need to think that okay i still have 96 hours i say uh, almost like 4 days are there suppose 96 hours i will use them in the best possible way what all mistakes are there i have decided i have learned what all mistakes i have got let me revise them let me correct them as much as possible okay and next do not compare your uh, comparisons with your friends or anything okay cut all comparisons and negativities and focus only on your next step and what is your next step to improve okay whichever questions got wrong whichever concepts got wrong to improve on those concepts that should be your target okay next when when is the best time to take a mock uh, in my previous video i have messed up here okay i told you some other time i have seen the time table once again so based you already have received your admit card so whichever time you have the exam okay that time please sit and write the exam suppose you have 1 to 4 5:30 to 8:30 or 8:30 to 11:30 whichever time you have the exam at that time go and sit the write mock at the same time okay and next this trains your brain to focus the real exam hour so as i told you in the my previous video also 
generally i'll talk about myself for example after lunch i feel very dizzy like many of you might feel we feel sleepy and those students who are having exam from 1 to 4 if their brain is in that particular condition after uh, writing uh, while writing the exam then they will not be able to uh, what i'll say think better in the exam so if your body is trained okay 1 to 4 i have to be active i have to be alert i have to be focused then the brain will perform better so that is what you can give your brain a training for 3 to 4 days by writing mock at the same period of time next what to do after mock this also i have told you in my last but this is the main thing that will help you to improve your marks in the mock test that is proper analysis you should do not only write the test but also analyze it and identify all the mistakes that you are doing whether it was a silly mistake or it was something which was unknown to you you should know that mark the topics where you are slow tra track the time spent per subject and make a mistake notebook or i will call it as an error notebook where you have to write down all the questions that has gone wrong in the mock test okay now after writing a mock test you should have an analysis report like this okay so this is for example you have written mock test 6 okay and then this question was correct this question was wrong these three questions were correct okay so first you have to write the question number i have told you already but i am again and again repeating it so that you give emphasis to this one then first you write down whether the question was correct or wrong next the chapter from which the question got wrong for example the second question was from the solutions chapter and you got it wrong next what was the topic the topic was for ideal and non ideal solutions and the question reason why i got that question wrong was i did not remember the examples of ideal and non ideal solutions so what is the suggestion for that how can i improve that make a short note on this examples make a flow chart make a table chart and just remember it before the exam okay second for example kinetics arrhenius equation got wrong the calculation part that is a very big calculation i got wrong in that so what to do do i will do calculations more sincerely suppose for example unit conversion i did not do i did not do or kilojoule to joule conversion i did not do or r value i did not pick properly so i have to do more i will be more conscious when i get this arrhenius equation question i will remember that okay this question i got it wrong in my mock test this time let me do it sincerely and with more careful next so for example thermodynamics work done question got wrong formula was the reason you didn't revise the formula properly so i will do revise the formula and solve five more questions on that topic so that i become strong in that so this is how you should analyze your mock test okay so please do this this is very very important otherwise there will be no improvement in the mock test moving next you have to focus on strengthening what you should strengthen at this point of time only 4 days are left you cannot fix everything but yes the high weightage topics if you are doing any mistakes in the high weightage topics do revise them again and again if you are doing some mistakes in the low weightage topic at this point you should leave it the mistakes that you are doing in the high weightage topics high weightage topics i mean pu2 syllabus so if the questions that is getting wrong from the pu2 syllabus please focus on strengthening those concepts more because definitely these are the where questions are mostly expected right next Mm, how to manage your mind but not just time so you should be having st you should need to stop this self doubt that whether i'll be able to do or not able to do that is a different thing the only thing at this point of time you have to do is to work hard and to work strategically and work smartly results please don't worry about results at this point of time next take 5 to 10 minutes meditation break this really helps to calm yourself to uh, make yourself cool and your mind will be able to think properly okay so please do meditation from now onwards visualize yourself calmly solving questions in the real exam okay so just imagine that yes i have studied whatever i have studied i have done it i will be doing good in the exam i will be solving the questions good in the exam just imagine such visualizations keep telling yourself that i am prepared to give my best i want all of you to write down this in the comment section of this video those who are watching please write down that i am prepared to give my best 
I want all of you to comment this. This will give you a positive affirmation that okay, if I have if I have revised five chapters, if I have studied five chapters, your mindset should be those five chapters. Let me do it nicely. Whatever questions come from those five chapters, I will do it correctly. So that should be your whatever you have prepared. Just sharpen it, enhance it.